Now this week we're also talking with some of the candidates for Congress in Indiana's sixth congressional district, which includes the south side of Indianapolis. This is the seat currently held by Congressman Greg Pence, who's retiring at the end of the year. Recently we spoke with several of the candidates running for Pence's seat, including two current state lawmakers. I'm here to, to serve Indiana, not to occupy an office. I'm not looking for a position to fill from one campaign to another. So I'm here to serve, and I have a, a, a distinguished legislative background and in, in record that I can run on that fits the sixth really well. There's no one in this lineup that has a record like I have when it comes to those two things, a, a solid conservative record and a, a track record of going to the table and fighting for those things, regardless of the pushback that I get. I've never ran for public office before. This is the first time that I've ran for office. And so I'm about as much of an outsider as you can be. For us, a turning point was April 15th. It'd be two years, April 15th, uh, 2022. We lost our son, Joey, to fentanyl poisoning. And this is a tragedy that's just happening to way too many families. It's claiming over 300 lives per day. And so that alone fuels my passion. I've had some legislative experience. I understand how government works. I've been a congressional nominee uh, four times, as I remember. So I uh, know what the what, I know what the political game is all about. And there's a lot of things that we think people have promised to get done that they've never got accomplished. At the state level, I fought for a lot of things. I fought for medical freedom. I fought for our constitutional uh, 2A gun rights. I fought to try to end all abortion, uh, reducing taxes, government intervention and control. If elected, I will also, as part of that, my campaign, I will be fighting for the lives of all preborn children. And what I, what I mean by that specifically is, is my fight at the state level to, to combat and end all abortion I will be taking that fight in the same way to Washington, D.C. All right, more of those interviews on our website. We've also been working to get an interview with former mayoral candidate Jefferson Shreve, who's now running for Congress as well in this 6th District primary. Uh, we're still waiting to hear back about our request for an interview. He was not available this week. Coming up, we get reaction from the Braun campaign to a new report suggesting some down-ballot candidates are being asked to send funding to the former president for using his likeness in their ads. We'll talk about that next. And later, the potentially transformational impact that Caitlin Clark could make here in Indiana and how the governor is welcoming her to the Hoosier State. Straight ahead.